up? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball video. And today we're going over all of the Vegeta uh, cards from the uh, theme selection, History of, of Vegeta. And uh, we're gonna go over the the new reprinted cards and the the old original cards um, of each card too. So you guys know which cards, you know, uh, you find that are, that are more pricey and you know, you might just wanna get them because they're different artwork and stuff like that. But um, yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, Vegeta villain turn protector. Um, so we're only going for what about 80 cents right now, but it has a dollar shipping. So dollar, dollar 70, dollar 80. But uh, this card doesn't see any play at all. Um, yeah, doesn't see any play at all. Uh, they just reprinted it, I guess, for the artwork. The artwork looks good, but uh, the original price of the card, 14 cents, as you can see. Um, like I said, it's not really meta re relevant um, right now, or those uh, cards that have been reprinted in this card, um, in the Giant Force, they were never relevant in uh, to begin with. But um, yeah, 14 cents for a villain turn protector. Um, Vegeta Savior of the Future. This is a great reprint. Uh, it's one of the one drop uh, when you attack, uh, grab a life, gain 10k, and double strike. This card was a great reprint. Um, granted, this um, this card was only, what, uh, 74 cents also. So it's really on a cheap side. Um, yeah, it's still on a cheap side for uh, for this. So I'm actually really surprised. Granted, most people don't really play like one drops, um, like attackers that gain double strike or crit nowadays, but um, because there's a lot of counterplay uh, towards those. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad for um, uh, Savior of the Futures. The original ones are like cents, like 10 cents each, but I went to the, uh, the foil version of this card and uh, yeah, they're only like a dollar. But yeah, all of these have a sh dollar shipping, so they, technically your uh, foil ones are like two dollars um, if you want to grab uh, foil versions uh, of this card. All right, uh, Prince of Destruction of Vegeta, Prideful Warrior. Uh, this is the 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 set eleven or set twelve? I think it's set eleven. Oh yeah, set eleven. That uh, set eleven super rare. Uh, that doesn't see play at all either. Um, has D flat, triple strike, and servant. Um, it's actually a decent card. I see a couple of people do a side deck this card because uh, it does remove three markers from your opponent's unison. It's actually not too bad, uh, for, but you are paying four green energy um, for that turn. So yeah, removing three markers, but it does have uh, triple strike and servant. So it's technically a uh, 30K triple striker that removes three markers. But um, yeah, each copy of this is going to about five dollars five dollars for each copy because you know a dollar shipping dollar shipping right there five dollars for each copy um the reprint the original uh super rare only 60 cents only 60 cents for uh for this card and then i think yeah it has the um a fest version the fest version is only like a like a dollar fifty um two dollars um at that but the spr version the spr version um are going for about 13 lowest, but 15 highest uh, for that. So I see this card being, um, I see this card being, uh, what, what's the card? Graded, graded a lot, just because it's like an iconic scene uh, from the show. So it's actually pretty good. Um, let's see, um, this is the new leader. Just wanna go over this because the original leader is just, a, it's just a leader. So it's just a, um, but yeah. The leader is going for about two bucks for each uh, copy of the new SS4 reprinted leader. So that's actually pretty decent. And uh, the leader looks good. So uh, if you think about playing SS4, uh, I'll say pick the pick this um, leader up. Uh, we have Vegeta Strength of Legends. This is the draft box uh, ca uh, card. It's only going for about 50 cents, a dollar for shipping. Um, this card doesn't really see any play because you have to pay a uh, red, blue, green, and yellow just to play this card. And, it's, and there's not that many um, rainbow decks out there except for like SS4 Bardock. That's like the first one that comes to mind. And then there's um, 
Agents of Destruction, but Agents of Destruction doesn't really play like all all four of those colors like that. But um, yeah, just for um, it's only fifty cents, but a dollar shipping, so it's just a dollar fifty for each card for each copy right now currently. And the reprinted version, I mean the original version, are a dollar ninety five push uh, dollar shipping. You know, there's a lot of dollar shipping around around here now. Uh, but yeah, it was typically it was three dollars for each copy. Uh, of the original version of Vegeta Strength of Legends. Uh, we have SS Vegeta Exploiting Weakness. These are going for about a dollar, uh, dollar or so. Then there's a dollar fifty for that uh, for each copy. Uh, for the original copies of this, oops, for the original copies, um, this were from the uh, draft box for Dragon Ball Brawl. Um, they're about six dollars uh, for each copy. I remember this card being used to be like twenty dollars, um, like back in the day, like was like a maybe a year or two ago. Uh, this card used to be like twenty dollars, but see, as you can see, the history of it, twenty dollars, um, like twenty-two dollars. But uh, yeah, only six bucks uh, for the current copies of uh, Vegeta Exploiting Weakness. Then this card got reprinted again in Battle Evolution. Um, the artwork is just okay for this card, but um, yeah, just a uh dollar fifty then after that is uh two dollars and fifty cents for each copy plus shipping uh for the battle evolution version uh vegeta ready to rumble ready to rumble vegeta uh they're about three dollars each uh for uh ready to rumbles a great great reprint this card did you know a reprint because i just found out while i'm you know do my research and stuff Yo, original copies of Vegeta Ready to Rumble are two dollars and twenty five cents, and that's like near mint. Then after that, they're like, well, they're technically yeah, they're just a dollar or uh, three dollars. Then you're just like four dollars for, for for that. But then if you go to these are just regular copies. Then if you go to the foil ones, foil ones are five to six bucks each. Bro, I had no idea. It's just a rare from um, BT eleven. But, but I had no idea, man. You know, that's why that's why we do these market watches because uh, I had no idea that these ready or rumbles were that much money just for you know the rare. Because granted, this we don't see too much play of ready and rumble outside of a, like baby or something. But that's it was a surprise to me. <laughs> um, SS4 Vegeta Rise of the Super Warrior, um, going for about two fifty for each copy. Um, this card is actually really really good. It's going to see it's going to see some play. And uh, the SS4 deck, um, original copies. Um, the SR versions are going for what 250 currently, uh, 280. Uh, close, and after that, it's close to. What are these prices like everywhere? Like 280, uh, between 280 and four dollars for each of the um, SR. Then um, for the SPR versions, they're going for about six, 650 for each copy uh, of the SPR. I do like the SPR um but the new reprint one is not that bad either so if you have i'll say if you have the original sprs already just keep those and but if you don't you know go ahead and try to pick these spr ones up because these the sbr ones look fresh um vegeta prideful transformation this is the yellow counter uh free counterplay one um they're going just about two dollars for each copy currently it just this card sees a little bit of play here and there depends on you know the player who wants to play the free counterplay uh, for the deck? Um, the original copies of it for are going for five dollars. My guy I had no idea. Five dollars for um, original Vegeta Prideful Transformations. Then, uh, then there's a event pack version. They're going for about three thirty, three forty for each copy um, of that. And the SPR versions are going for six bucks, six to seven bucks, the highest. Yeah, this 33 one. This three dollar one is unreal. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, six bucks for the SPR versions. Not that bad. Not bad. I, I like how they're actually holding up value. Uh, granted, they just, you know, got a reprint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Vegeta Royal Evolution. Uh, Grant does not see too much play, but you're, they're going for a dollar fifty um, and a dollar plus for shipping. And the original ones are going for about 270 to about, about yeah about 280 for each copy 
of Royal Evolution. This card came out of the Battle Evolution set. Um, there's an SR in there, and granted, this card doesn't see too much play, but you do have to check sometimes. Some people might take this card in because it is a uh, Universe 7 card that you know, you're able to play in the deck. You can fit it in the deck, but it doesn't seem to play in, the, in that deck. But um, yeah. Uh, Vegeta Unison of Fury. Uh, these are going for about $1.50 plus, plus shipping. Uh, the artwork looks actually really, really dope. And um, like the galaxy in the background is like how he's like really like dark and stuff. Is it? If you see it in person, it looks dope. $1.50. But um, had no idea that these were like $5, bro. Like $4, the lowest, but $5 for each copy of uh, Vegeta Unison of Fury. So if you can't um i'll say i'll say pick up the the new reprinted one because those just look way better than the original ones and you just and they're just cheaper you know what i'm saying but yeah five dollars for vegeta unison theories i had no idea uh protector of the people i think they forced this one you know the original pr protector of the people i can understand why um, that character is on Protector of the People. But now, you just, bro, you just have Trunk. You forced this one, Bandai. You just literally just like, yo, this just forced Trunks and Vegeta on this card. <laughs> but anyway, they're just a dollar, plus a dollar shipping for Protector of the People. And their original ones, see, it's night and day, you know? he His thing is protecting the people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, $2 for the, uh, plus shipping for uh, protector original protector of the peoples. I'm pretty sure this card got reprinted too. Did it get another reprint? I might be tripping, bro. Hold on, let me check. There's only two cop two prints of this. Yeah, man, there's only two prints of that. Okay. Right. Uh, Vegeta the Lone Prince. This is the green super combo that you're able to play for one and you make your opponent pitch one. Uh, this card came out of set 10 and each copy going for a dollar right now. <laughs> Uh, plus shipping and um, yeah, the the art record is it's cool. I low-key like the the fest one better, but the original copies are just uh, 20 cents, but let me see the foil versions Yeah, just a dollar for the uh, foil versions But then there's the uh, fest one that I like the most because there's like a lot of gold foil in up there They're about two dollars each uh, plus shipping um, for each copy of that so I'm I like the first one's better. That's just me. Um, Vegeta's Final Flash. Uh, they're going for about seven bucks, seven to eight bucks right now. This card does see play, and is a great reprint for uh, Yellow. Um, the original ones are going for about fifteen dollars right now. So that's like damn near double the price of that. Uh, fifteen bucks for the original uh, Vegeta's Final Flashes. Then there's the collector's version. Where that's twenty three dollars for each twenty three to twenty five dollars for each copy of uh, Vegeta's Final Flashes, and last we got Dormant Potential Unleashed original versions right now. You would think these cards will go down, right? Original ones are still touching about twenty dollars each for each copy, bro, and people are still buying it. See, just yesterday people bought three original ones for nineteen dollars. Granted, we had a reprint one. You know what I'm saying? But I guess there's some people that do like original copies of cards not, instead of reprints. But uh, yeah, original dormant potentials, about 19, 20 bucks. Um, we have the event pack ones. Uh, it's the same It's the same uh, picture as this, but it's like more like green. They're like same, same price too, 19, 20 bucks for event pack ones. And um, the dormant potential at least, the original, the new one, um, they're actually like a dollar or less. They're about like two dollars less. It's like eighteen, like eighteen fifty for each copy of Dormant Potentials. They came out of um, the theme selection. And lastly, the um, the highest priced one. This was the the winner version of this card. They're going about for forty five dollars each for each copy. Forty five, forty six dollars for each copy of winter dormant potentials and but that is it today for today's market watch guys let me know uh down below what's your favorite artwork uh from uh vegeta's theme selection re uh, reprint set and um i'll catch you guys later for the goku one but uh i'll catch you later peace